So yesterday I was uh, denied an opportunity to uh, move back into the community centre where I used to be based, where I ran things like the um, anniversary event for the first uh, anniversary of the Hastings PFI and the second anniversary. We had the police uh, turn up in numbers on the first anniversary event and um, we had a unanimous, well a majority decision um, that the best place to put some funds would be into community mediation work around the pier fire. Anyhow, I thought it was a real knockback yesterday uh, that I wasn't going to be allowed to spend 300 a month plus public liability insurance and all the rest of it uh, overheads um, to uh, rent uh, this office. And uh, it's, I'm so reminded of the story um, of the old man in the village who uh, has a young man come up to him um, and ask and, and voice his opinion on the things that have happened to him or befallen him um, and um, isn't that a good thing isn't that a bad thing the the young man, man says and, and all the old man says in my version is maybe so and the moral of the story of course is that you don't know how well things might be turning out so um, we are still waiting for you it says there yeah you're waiting for the punchline so the punchline I suppose is that um, I couldn't see that I was being given a given a gift by being turned down yesterday and what a difference 24 hours make uh, it's a long time in politics etc like that because I now need that money. I've employed a uh, political secretary uh, for 10 hours a week and made it very clear that we have two political aims of equal value. Um, the f one that came first chronologically is to get 365 votes um, for the Pause 5G campaign in the name, my name, Paul Crossland, put a cross for Crossland um, in Hastings and Rye. But since Rosie Duffield's speech in Parliament yesterday, the 2nd of October, I put equal priority on getting leaflets out. So I'll be spending um, as much time leafleting in Canterbury, my home constituency, as in Hastings and St Leonard's, where I am now in my flat in Hastings and St Leonard's. Um, I will um, be putting as much time into leafleting in each location. I don't want to leaflet the Labour Party leaflet, I want to produce a leaflet, uh, A4 double-sided version, condensed version of the speech. I, uh, my um, political secretary has the experience to uh, condense that well and uh, produce 30,000 copies of that and get that distributed around, around Canterbury. Generally I'll be working 10 days on, 4 days off um, Canterbury and then 10 days on, 4 days off in Hastings and St Leonard's. So um, I'm revealing a lot of the political strategy uh, and of course, as I say, I'm standing for generosity, yours and mine. If anyone's good at building uh, donation websites, that would be great. Um, actually, maybe the political secretary can work on this. Patreon is where I've ended up. I started with GoFundMe. I suppose the question is on crowdfunding, which are best known um, and which will look well. So basically, for, for the constituents, I want three things. Ah, have I got it to hand? Um, I want uh, for you to get how much you have to give. I want for you to get that you don't need to take any crap anymore. And I want for you... Hmm, this is the hardest one. Hmm, maybe I have to see another of my films. Or go to additionalinfo.blogspot.com um, But there's, there's three things I want... I want um, for you and the three things I want from you are your vote or you can exchange if you're in a marginal seat exchange votes um, how this is a bit complicated isn't it email me if you if you are torn about voting for me paul.crossland at gmail.com um, you know I will be getting extra votes for Labour in Canterbury if that makes it easier to vote for me here okay um, so I want your vote I want your donation. Maybe if you can't vote for me, you can at least donate um, to um, Pause 5G, um, play citizens' assemblies, move forward more together. And lastly, 
What's the last point? What's the third thing I want from you? Yes. What I want from you is for you to be the change. I don't know how to end this, either the Gandhi way. Be the change you want to see. So if you want um, a kinder environment, be kinder. Um, simple as that. Um, but make a plan about how you're going to be kinder and look at all ways in which you get caught out not being kind and how you can learn to address those. So many books I should be reaching for Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. I will. Etc. Etc. Um, oh, actually, the two closest books to hand are The Eighth Habit and The Eighth Habit Workbook. If I had more spare time, I would be writing up my mission statement again and really looking at... Um, I've got some food burning on the stove, so i better look at that. Um, these are the elements. We're, we're interested in your, in your talent, your passion, your need, need and your conscience and bringing it all together with voice in the middle. Um, so... From effectiveness to greatness, Stephen have his eighth, eighth habit, and as I say, there's a workbook to help you through it to make sure that you live it. Because there's no point in a self-help book if you just read it. The only point in a self-help book is living it, and this is more than a self-help book. Uh, Time magazine um, voted it one of the twentieth most inf influential books, um, and Stephen Covey one of those twenty-five most influential. Um, people of the uh, Americans ever and uh, books of the, ninth, of the 20th century. Um, what's the third? So I want for you to be the change you want to see, model something, or be the change we need to see. Take seriously the idea of zero carbon by 2025 and how you can model um, every street zero carbon 2025 there's a hashtag in front of that if you want to look up some other material anyhow uh, we are still waiting for you i'm keen to have a response interactions appreciated uh, you'll either get a response from me or the political secretary who uh, she had doesn't hasn't said whether i can give her name out yet anyhow uh, um, paul.crossland at gmail.com i look forward to um supportive emails in particular but there's something positive in the other ones too you don't know the gift you're giving me when you give it even if you're giving me what you think is your crap hopefully i'll compost it and we'll make something good of it because we don't know and i must note to self every time i feel a setback and a heart pang which happens a lot in an election campaign uh, i suppose i'm it's it's growthful that's why i put myself out there every time i feel that I need to just ask myself, what might the gift be here? And in the spirit of 2066 and all that, how might this be a, um, how might this be a good thing?